Hey guys, Mr. Romanos here, and, and welcome to my new Let's Play of Bayonetta. And I have a friend here with me. Introduce yourself. Yes sir, yes sir, I am new 504 Blaze, a.k.a. Aaron, here. Yeah. Once again. Yeah, we actually... Oh, you can you can skip this. Uh, we you can go ahead and start, and I will get out of shot at that spot. Uh, we actually... We're, at, we're actually recording this on the same day as the, uh... Video that where we played Dragon Ball Rising Blast 2. Rising Blast, actually. Ra Rising Blast, whatever. <laughs> it's Dragon Ball Z. It, it, it's a super ultra make it stream. It would be the same game, uh, new game. Yeah, we hit it off so well. We decided we're gonna actually we're actually recording this on the same day. Uh, play it on easy. Trust me. Trust me. Yeah, uh, Byron has only played the demo of this game. I have actually completed it. I have actually completed the whole thing, so I cannot wait to see how he reacts to various stuff in the game. I am actually excited. In the universe of light and dark, where perception is reality. Oh, uh, perception is not necessarily reality, but whatever. Moon! Let's hope Piccolo does not destroy this. Oh, what's this? <laughs> oh? Who could these two be? Who knows, but I think it's time to slay whatever these things are. And these look like. Who knows? Long since erased from the records of time, there once existed two European clans who served as overseers of history for the powers that be the Umber Witches, dwellers of the darkness and the Lumen Sages, controllers of the night. The clans paid each other great respect, and their efforts to maintain the balance between them defended oh, yeah. the just passage of time. I'm going to do it again. Yet one day, I get there you are. Go and the balance it was tough. Oh, Byron, 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 we're missing the, the important exposition. Now, who cares? I'd start talking. I mean, the story in this game doesn't make any sense, which is really the only complaint people seem to have in this game. Those people I say, you're playing this for the wrong reason. You play this for the awesome action that's on screen right now. The once I mean, look at this. You're flying on a falling clock, a falling clock tower phrase from what now. We're flying what will be revealed as angels. The mm. Man. This game is awesome. Like, I, I, I've already shown you guys like, uh, like, like I've shown you guys like two different test videos of this, like where I da tested my Dazzle, I tested my Hot I figured, you know what, let's, I, I might as well get this game out of the way, it's an awesome game. If you haven't played this, what is wrong with you? Play this. Like, if you like Devil May Cry, I, I know Byron let that lets Devil May Cry, he's mentioned it before. Uh, like, like, which Devil May Cry game did you play? Devil May Cry 4. You only played four. You didn't play the other ones. Uh, honestly, I never got the chance. No. Oh, yeah, no. 
Well, I think the HD collection, you can just get the HD collection, guys, from 1 through 3. That's my plan. Yeah. Oh, from what I've heard, you can skip 2 as far as I'm away. I wouldn't know. I mean, this is pretty much like, I mean, this is like the most game game I've ever played, and what the hell is that thing? The two-headed dragon with an upside-down face. Okay. Uh, for those of you who have seen my Dazzle and, and Hop Hog test videos for this game, you already know what that is. Byron, I don't think he knows what that is. <laughs> I launched the uh, I'm too far right now. Yeah, the battle where you yeah, choose between the resistance yeah. Yeah. and subjugating those who wish to Yeah, try to that giant thing with my thing with Bob. If you can. Yeah, push the witch hunts further and soon. Yeah, the way that if you again, if you never played the game, what is wrong with you, but I guess I can explain. Basically it you know, like that might cry is like a stylish action game, but as far as I can tell, the thing that holds it back is like, you know, a fixed camera. Like, a lot of Resident Evil. But this has like a free range camera. But it's like way more stylish, way more over the top. It's awesome. Who are, the, who are these two characters? We, we may find out soon. As it goes to black screen. We get no achievement! What could we for? We're playing we're playing this on his 360. Well, technically it's my 360, but it has his hard drive thing uh, plugged in. <laughs> First cutscene, present day. I wonder what the actual year is. Uh, I'm guessing this is the future, because I've never seen anything like that before. Who are these guys? I'll stop that. Oh, what could this be? It's a very nice gun that she or she has. Um, and uh, I don't know what they're going to do with these knives, but... Oh, I guess they're all going to mass suicide. Oh, that's wonderful. Hmm. It's actually been a while since I've actually beaten this game to completion, so I don't actually remember what that is supposed to mean. So, yeah. Prologue, the rest of you all. You can go ahead and save me if you want. May as well. Yeah. Since I am playing the game during. Yeah. Good thing you're not playing on uh, normal, because I I've never beaten normal. There's a point in normal that I cannot get past. Yeah. Oh, so that's, that's that's where it becomes almost like ninja guy. Uh, may maybe not. I've never played ninja guy, but I'm told those games are hard. I just need to get described. <laughs> yeah, in my opinion, yeah. that was some parts. Yeah. The rest of it is just nice, cool ninja slicing head action. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, graveyard. They're not about Team Little Angels. I don't even know who those people are. I don't know what they've done. Very Platinum, geniuses. Platinum Games. Oh yeah. You may also know it from like Metal Rising Revenge and some whatnot. You do Shimomura. I don't think I actually know who that is. Uh, Yusuke Hashimoto. Don't know who that is. Hideki Kamiya. Ah, uh, of course. Uh, of course. This was after he left Capcom, I believe. I uh, probably have that wrong. It looks like Humpty Dumpty's taking his last fall. Joe Pesci. He no, it's not Joe Pesci, but it may as well be. Scrambled in the end, right? Wait, Eggman's dead. Oh, well, who's Sonic gonna fight now? I, I guess you can just fight whoever the next the monster of the things. week is. I just drop off the merchandise. Hmm. Hey, bet you can't guess what today is. Reading the but I can't hear you. Much. People been waiting for this asshole to get whacked for ages. Please. Now, yeah. look around. There's no love lost for old Humpty Dumpty. Oh, but apparently, you gotta keep apparently in this timeline, people really hated Eggman. Wow. They take care of us. 
He wasn't that. I mean, he wasn't. Uh, what what horrible crime did he alert. commit? Please. He's a world dominant. Hey, nah, probably. Um, although, although maybe he actually dominated the world. And, and like, he's a successful. Society be? Of course, the pay's not bad either. <laughs> Jesus, you really get into this shit, don't you? I can't hear you. What? What are you saying? It's a barbecue. Or at least sunny side up. <laughs> I'm first scrambled. How about you? Do you how do you like your eggs? But the only way this guy's meeting oh, the Lord is if God's way way for breakfast. <laughs> I know there's a whole bunch of unnecessary words I just said right there. Well, maybe not. Speaking of hungry, we done here. My kids are baking me a birthday cake tonight. Cute little fuckers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. Thank, thanks, not Joe well, Pesci. Now I'm hungry. Adios. Now I already ate like a few hours ago. Oh, what's with this yellowy glow? What the fuck? They're here? For this douchebag? Ah, I, I guess God's apparently a fan of Eggman. I can't see a thing. Oh, oh whoops. I see them. They are instruments of God, descending upon his heavenly rays to earth. Oh my god! Dear Lord, grant us guidance and keep safe the souls of our loved ones for all eternity. No, that's a nun. I don't know what she's doing with not Joe Pesci. Oh, oh okay, it's a, it's a magical nun. She can do whatever that is. Oh great, you just dropped the holy book. Well, God God probably is not too pleased with you now. Oh, uh, what's going on here? Oh, is what, he's, is what he wants to say. And... Oh, he turned in invisible? I don't know. And these are... Affinity Angels. On the third sphere, I already spoiled what they are. And. Can you feel it? Yeah, right. Oh! Oh, yeah, this. This is happening. None beating up angels? Oh, yeah. Now. <laughs> Which is exactly why this is happening. You get a you get a birthday bash. Oh, if only oh come on, Nacho Pesci. If only you could see what was going on. Oh, what was this? Terminator? What? No, it's not the Terminator, actually. Next time you put your hands on me, you better make sure I'm dead. Oh, oh yeah. Go, go, go. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, guys. If it ain't my good buddy Enzo. Oh, I'm still gonna call him not Joe Pesci. Oh, yeah. Mm. Beautiful. You know what? Mm. Sorry, I'm just gushing. Oh. Oh, now you've done it. It's time for... Bayonetta. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, she's in the spotlight. Well, she is the star of this game. Oh, yeah. Oh, guns through angels. Catch a gun. Oh, 
Oh yeah. I mean, yeah, this is all just flashy, but what if I have a good gun? What do you mean? Wait, what do you mean you're a good gun? That's my gun. I'll be honest, I don't actually know what that a bit of the game takes place. I'm guessing maybe before this. Need guns. Rodon is here to provide. Alright, guns on her feet. Both her feet. Right, four guns on her hands, on her feet. All guns, all the time. Oh yeah. And just so that you, and just so that you know, Byron, if you do die like like a few times, I I can actually just take over for you. Oh, yeah, we'll see, won't we? Oh, out of guns. How about a lollipop instead? Here, you can bury yourself. Oh, there's your god hand reference, the home run. I don't actually know what that movie with god hand is called, but whatever. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now it's time to play the game. Are you ready, Byron? Yep. Let's do it. Oh, wait. Tutorial time. Okay. And yeah, there's your combo list. There's a whole bunch of combos. Although, one minor complaint I have with the game is that sometimes it does, it seems to do whatever combo it wants. Uh, I'm, of course, I can't accurately show off what I mean by that, because, obviously, you're not seeing the controller. Okay, and this is how you dodge. Just press... Yeah. And, uh, and now, if you do hit, uh, R if you do dodge right as the enemy attacks, uh, as you'll see later, you will actually, uh, slow down time for, for a brief moment. Which, which can actually make the... The Shinachi uh, lets you strategize. Oh, well, here's the game explaining it now. Yeah, which time is your slowdown? Oh, come on. Alright, try again. And. Oh, yeah, now beat it up. Oh, okay, well, it won't let you. Alright, now you can hit next. Oh yeah. Now play the game. Beat him up. Yeah. It helps to it helps to like uh be varied. Oh yeah, you got Halo. That's your that is your currency for the game. And apparently they hold and apparently this is where Sonic gets all his rings, or at least it's how they're left. Angels drop them when Bayonetta kills them. Apparently. If Sonic were here, I would I would tell him to say thank you, but he's not here. Oh well. Yeah, there are all there are all manner of combos you can do in this game. Yeah, Brian, you really want to uh, do different kind do different com combinations of button presses? It's like see uh, what kind what kind of cool moves you can do, and look. New enemies. I'm gonna kill them like thorough ass. Oh. Nope. Using it. Now hold Y or B. Yeah, ba that basically just lets you uh, hold down your gunfire. Now, a bullet climax. Ro rotate the left stick once and then push B or Y. Do it, Byron. 
and yeah, and you have to actually hold wire bait. Oh well, never mind. You actually have to press. Yeah, same, and it's the same for bait. Oh yeah. All right, you can go. You can hit next. Now try it out. Oh yeah. Beat him up. <laughs> Do I really need to say anything, guys? Like, I should mention that uh, if you have a Wii U, uh, uh, don't worry. For those of you who don't know, uh, I've got the first Bayonetta will actually come packaged with Bayonetta 2 when it comes to Wii U. So that way, if you have a Wii U, you have no excuse to miss this game. And right now, I really don't have an excuse. <laughs> yeah. Well, of course, you know my, uh... Yeah, but Bayonetta 2 is Wii U. It's still Wii U exclusive. So, yeah, that's the thing. You want to jump down there. Holy crap, huh? Ah. Uh. Uh oh. Ah! Damn it! Who did that? I just bought the damn thing. Sorry. Ah, what's a piece of crap car anyway? Haven't you figured it out yet? There's no quarter for you in this world. And she means specifically the angels. Beat them up. And of course, there's a boss angel right over there. You, you will. I'll see. You want to take him out? Oh yeah. And he's dead. Photo finish. Hey, you got a gold medal. Go figure, right? And yeah, you do have rankings in this game. There's bronze. Uh, Silver, gold, and pure platinum. Actually, I think there might be something below bronze. I'm not sure. And pure platinum is basically your perfect ranking. Engine still purrs nicely. Now, yeah, you can still drive it. This little thing you've been looking into for me, Enzo. Let's have a quick chat. See, this is why I told you I was going home. I just got held up in the air by some invisible things, and you want an intelligence briefing? It never stops with you! Get used to it. You keep belly aching like that, and you're liable to wake Eggman from the dead. And continue the Sonic franchise. Like that. Ah. Now, catch you later, Bayonetta. Something tells me you're gonna need a rush on our special project before the shit hits the fan. Wait, Rodan. What about Eggman? Yeah, who's starting to fight now? I bet they hate him down there as much as you did when he was up here. Well, then again, he did try to take over the world several times, but... Yeah, when they kick him out. He's playing with four of us on Nothing a flower bed can fix. Well, mostly the mantra of the week. Okay, awesome. Why not? You heard the man. Finish up in five minutes, or you're walking home to your cake and candles. What? Don't you leave me here! Wah, wah, wah. And by the way, if you hit back, hit back. Yeah, you can. You're in practice mode now. So you can practice your combos as much as you want. Like if the game's taking a while to load, you can do this. And now, and now it's stopped loading, so you can get out of practice mode if you want. I mean, we have a let's play to get on with. That is true. Sadly. I'm kidding, guys. I'm screwed. Yeah, you better be kidding. <laughs> uh, it's gonna take every cent I earned on this charade to pay for the damage. I tell you what, if I can see them bastards that did this to my car, forget about it. Enzo, the road. Yeah, keep your eye on the road. How can you be so calm? You're still getting screwed in all this, too. Of all the low-life scum in too deep in this town, I've never seen one get wrapped up in a fight with God's messengers. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. oh, there goes the steering wheel. Uh -oh. Oh, oh, just next like time. 
when you end up in the afterlife, that's not going to be pretty. I that's not wrong. I like the little outfits. The toys are nice. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. hey, 20 years ago, you woke up stuck in a casket at the bottom of a lake. All now you can this? remember is that you're a witch. But now, you're stuck. Because you gotta sacrifice our, our heroine has amnesia, the most the cliche of all uh, story I elements. But being oh, forced to true. slap around the divine for a living, but hey, who cares? It's really getting this game's awesome. If I needed a biographer, you wouldn't be my first choice. Can I be your first choice? You get me the information I asked for. That was no. <laughs> It's going to get you close to finding the other stone in the pair and figuring out some of that lost past of yours. I hmm. swear. Oh, flashback. Hmm. <laughs> After jewels instead of hmm. cash. Just like a girl. <laughs> Jesus, can't you take a joke? Enzo. Someone's given you oh. a present. He's, he's been bugged. Stand bugs. Who did it? <laughs> Probably. <sighs> yeah. <gasps> what the fuck? What? Oh, that's not good. Time to slow down time. Let's do it. Now then, what must we do here? Ah, great. Oh, so well, there's this. Mm, I wouldn't be so sure about that. But she means business, apparently. Now she can fight just as well as Bayonetta. I wonder if we'll have any. I wonder if we'll ever uh, fight her at any point in the game. Hint, we will. I know. No, no, it's not a toy. But she knows us, apparently. And I guess she knows about our past as well. well let's actually find out the enemies. Alright, Byron, you're on time limit. This is the thing that I could not beat normal on, because I always ran out of time. And the magic gauge was, is a lot harder to fill up on normal. So hit Y. Oh. Yeah, I never really used the items in this game. Yeah, now hit Y. Never mind. Yeah. Y and B. Now hit B. Oh, yeah. Yeah, your torture attempts are basically instant kill moves that give you lots of points. And yeah, you want to hit B a lot. What's he doing? And yeah, you want to be able to, to execute enough uh, torture attacks before the plane crashes. Right into the Iron Maiden. And you're done. Oh yeah, Platinum Metal. Not quite pure Platinum, because you didn't get a high knock combo. They make a great team. Now, but now we must fight. Where should we? Oh, where'd she go? Who knows? Oh, well, there she goes. Never mind. 
Ah, I see what you did there, Platinum Games. Platinum Coffee. Well, time to save uh, Enzo. I mean, not Danny DeVito. No, sorry, not. Okay, well, I'm screwing up my own joke. That's wonderful. It's supposed to be not Joe Pesci. Hmm, she seems familiar. But who could she be? A uh, quick question, Byron. Was uh, she in the demo? Yeah, no. <laughs> now, okay, so that's the first time you've really yeah, seen her. Yeah, that's the first time I've seen her. Okay. Meanwhile, in the hell, literally. Those assholes sure know how to get attention. Even through the ears of the hotheads down home. You don't say. It's getting harder and harder to tell the worlds apart. Dante would be having a fit right now. Not the Devil May Cry Dante, the like the, uh, really the guy who wrote Dante's Inferno. Dante. It's a bad right? Even if and yes, Dante's Inferno was a, was originally a book, not a game. Not that people care, because I don't hear any, because I never hear anyone say anything good about Dante's Inferno game. Are we sure this guy is in the Terminator with those glowing eyes? Heaven and hell can tear each other to pieces for all I care. I've got eh, apocalypse. to worry about. Whatever. Something's up. Everything was a bit too brazen. And Enzo's tip makes the timing too perfect. This reeks of a setup. Someone in one of those lost memories calling you out. Ooh, guns everywhere. Can I have those? No. Oh. You want to I have no clue what you just said there. Oh well. Don't Ooh, what are they? Because they're one of a kind. Oh yeah, now those are some good-looking guns. Big, they're big, but effective. I'm sure. Let's show off. Yeah. Dante, eat your heart out. And I do mean the Devil May Cry Dante this time. Like God. I wonder if we'll actually get to fight God in this game. Down tonight, baby. Not to butt into your affairs, but I'm pretty sure you got somewhere better to be. The guy yeah, beating the crap, beating the shit out of more angels. All in a day's work for Bayonetta. Enzo, her drinks are going on your tab. Buddy. The inflation in hell is, well, Did hell. And that's the end of the prologue. So how, so how was your intro to the game with the prologue? Uh, oh, you got, the, you got a platinum trophy. Sweet. Right here, okay. Let's see. So what what's gonna happen next? And yeah, you get this at the end of every time you uh, clear a chapter. See, so yeah, just shoot, just shoot at the targets. Let the game teach you how to do it first. And yeah, it's just an arcade shooter, as obviously it is. Oh. Yeah. 
Yeah, you want to go for the, for, the, for the really small angles. They give you more points. Yeah, they give you 10 points. Well, they're really... It's like, it's like certain... Um, yeah, there are certain head... Like, only head angles. I don't know what they're called. But they give you, uh... Yeah, 10 points. Unfortunately, you don't have enough to buy anything. So, that's nice to see what I can. Yeah, Red and Hot Shot basically gives you a revive. Basically, when you lose all your health, that gives you your health back. Some of it, at least. Just hit B. Forget. And do, doing that gives you some halos. Alright, and just hit B again. Yeah, it's check. No, no, hit B. It's a, hit A. Okay. What's gonna get. What are we gonna do next? As we delve into the main story of the end of time. But not, but not yet. For we will, we're going to call it here, guys. So next part, we're going to go to the Angels Metropolis, Chapter 1. Uh, I'm Luke, or you can call me Mishronos. And I'm Byron, a.k.a. New 504 Blaze. Look me up on Xbox One. I'll be able to play some Call of Duty. And any sort of high-paced blood and action game with you. Okay. See you guys for Part 2. Yes, sir.